Hello guys, welcome back to Appendices Club. Today we are going to solve another tutorial named called Wayback Lister. It's a new approach to a directly bullet force with a Wayback Lister. So, uh, what it can be done? Wayback Lister is a reconnaissance tool that taps into your Wayback Machine to fetch a historical URLs for a domain, parse a Unicube parts and check if anyone those are currently exposed for a directory listing. It's a fast and multi-threaded and built-in for a practical use in security assessment and bug bounty record. So, what are the main features we can get here? The main features we can get here as a full a achieved URLs via Wayback Machine and extract Unicube paths and subdomains, those URLs. Actively check for live directory listing, supports for a multi-threading and scanning can auto discover a subdomain based on Wayback data, works in a single domain or a list of a domains. Now, let's we would like to go and get back this. So this is a Wayback list. Let's just uh, copy, come back. Now, you just type it as git clone and paste this report. Now, let's we would like to go to here as a Payback list. Now just type plus minus L. Now uh, we would like to activate this one. As there is a requirements.txt, so I would like to activate a virtual environment. Now we just type here as pip3 install minus r requirements.txt. Now it was uh, activated. Now let me just type uh, here clear. Then let's just copy. Now just type here as a point on three, and that's it. You just type here as minus minus help. So where we have got here? Now let me. I would like to test a domain. Let me just type here as clear. Uh, now let me. I just uh, put here a test dot php dot uh malaweb.com like we can test this please enter a valid domain so how we would like to put here a valid domain means uh, we just need to put uh, only the test.php.malaweb.com now uh, you don't need to insert with the HTTP or HTTPS then it will automatically try uh, Unicube parts for the targeted website now let's we would like to try here what uh, it was found almost all 822 unicube paths in the test and checking the directory listing once it was checked everything you can get the results here where you can look here as a idea everything. So all the directory listing, uh, it will be displayed here. Let's, we can look here, open the link. You can look uh, where a scope.setting.xml, uh, where uh, index.a idea with the scopes, where you have got it here. So it will be displayed a lot of uh, this things. Let's, you can look here, CVs, connections, Oh, so we are testing in the testing website. You can try in the main targeted domain. It may take a uh, lengthy time process uh, to display all the results. Now, let's, uh, we would like to try to go for as uh, the, let's just open this. We can try now as the life of a targeted domain. Let's come back here.
So it will take a lengthy time process uh, to get all the results. Let's we just copy, come back. Now we would like to try here as a air asia.com. Let's we can also look here in the air asia.com. What's the uh, this is for testing, this is for the live website. We can look uh, what is the results uh, we can get from here. Let's, uh, you can look here, MMS, MM server scripts. So all the results where you can get here. Let's, we can look here as a templates. So it may take uh, to display all the results here. Admin. So where you can look here as a main dynamic template with the php mysql then so this is a database.php uh, all the scripts where you can read all the information then you can look here after targeted websites where one dot jpg so where you can look here a two dot jpg then three dot jp so it's quite a uh, interesting way so it will take a uh, more a uh, lengthy time process what else you can accept here error for fetching a data with a machine uh port 443 uh read timeout okay let me i just try to ask clear now i would like to go with as a trihack.com let's we can look what uh we can get here so uh it may also take more a uh, lengthy time process here okay let me just try to ask clear amazon.com let's try If there is a cloud uh, cloud fair, it will not going to be connected, and it will be by uh, restrict that all these things. So where you can look here as a directory listings, everything which is uh, presented here, a remox dot give, okay, then logo dot give, document. So everything will be displayed here. So it takes a uh, more and lengthy time process here. So uh, why this rule is required? Sometimes what you are achieved by the Wayback Machine lead to an interesting places, especially they still work as a direct illustration, can reveal a sensitive files uh and backups even forgot like a admin panels way back lister help you to find them in a systematic and a scriptable way or so even you can try with your own uh if you put here as files you have targeted off uh uh wordless you can try that also it's good I would like to put here as a crypto.com let's we can try uh, because of uh, cloudfare uh, sometimes it will be uh, disabled to check with the wayback machine the read time uh, that's it because that's it here so uh, because of a cloudfare it will be disabled to check also so where uh, we have got here a images pictures even you can look here uh, pictures where you can look here a lot of pictures you can get here a path disclosure with the unix 
you can look here all informations we can get class objects everything that's it here so uh, in real time website of targeted website it will take a more and lengthy time process until you try 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 and get it where you need to bypass the cloud fair and everything let's again look here we cannot able to get this where yeah, we have seen this uh, pictures all so you try to run guys thank you guys for watching and keep smiling